Right then, one more match before the interval. It's welcome the wrestlers then for contest number three. And welcome back everyone to Reservoirs TV. What a contest this one will be. Why, you may ask? Here's why, it's the return of Simon Miller. I think uh, people want to people want to cheer for Simon Miller, but Simon Miller's not having any of it. I don't know what's going on. This is a far cry from his very friendly personal personality we normally see on his YouTube videos. But uh, yeah, what a contest this is going to be. We've got Simon Miller with his second appearance on Wrestleforce TV. And he's taking Hello, on the former champion. Right hand side. At six foot one and 225 pounds of power from Slough, our own Goldberg, Simon Miller. I might have said right back with that singlet, but never mind any of that. Simon Miller should be the first one and only Simon Miller. Wrestle Forces, Simon Miller, and nothing else. Here's why. And the Enigma about to make his way out to the ring. As he does, let me tell you about some future matches we've got in store for you. In a couple weeks' time at the Chelsea Theatre, we're going to have Karim Brigante, also a former international champion, and he's going to be taking on the Zulu Warrior. Before that, we've got Karim Brigante scheduled to take on our reigning and defending champion, James Farrell. That's going to be next week in Aylesbury. It might have already happened at the time of this video going out, but uh, check the website WrestleForce.com. Chelsea Theatre should be right on the horizon, March 12th. And get your tickets and join us if you can, because there's nothing like WrestleForce Live. And Booyah, or Gooyah indeed. A man who has uh, been getting cheered lately more for the opponents that he's been booked against than anything else. But yeah, Voodoo, when taking on most recently James Farrell, whom he lost the title to, actually been getting a favourable reaction from fans. And I was presenting to you. The Edifice of Horror, the former Unified Champion, now, then, and forever, Fudu! Indeed, Fudu was the man to unify the belts, to merge the titles together, the WrestleForce World Heavyweight Championship and the WrestleForce International Championship to become the Undisputed Championship. But just a three or four months later, he lost that undisputed championship to James Farrell, Farrell at the Brentwood Theatre. And I think, did a kid just call Voodoo a tally tubby? Wasn't that like 20 years ago? The tally tubbies? And furthermore, no, what, what are you talking about? Aside from having a streaks of purple, and one of the telly tubbies being purple, I fail completely to see the connection or the resemblance. 
but I think I might have paid that a little more attention than needed. Let's get straight on to this match. Oh, there we go. Some of our regulars on the stage who've attended our WrestleFall shows and seen this. Yes, in fact, Voodoo has changed his personality somewhat because uh, the Voodoo of old, I would never have envisioned taking a, a young lad as Danny Haynes as he did last week under his wing. Now, the, the old Voodoo would have just tombstoned him, maybe tombstoned him onto a championship. <laughs> well, that's a fair comment from Simon Miller. It's, uh, call him a chicken, but who, who in the audience would like to have a go? Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Voodoo. Well, I hope he isn't, because, uh, th that will not be being uploaded to YouTube if that happens to be the case, if it should Voodoo kill Simon Miller. Yeah, Simon Miller scored one forearm to the face and was far too proud of it. And paying the price for it now. Taking a battering. Concluding with three now. Elbow drops. The last one with a jump to it. And Vood is not a small guy. He's got some weight behind him. For his size though, Voodoo. Very agile. And it's not often you see someone who can match size with Voodoo. Simon Miller's got the size, but he better get his wit together. Simon Miller just waffling here. So Voodoo's going to take the action out to him. Oh no. No, not the wall! Oh, thank goodness. Simon Miller's head didn't go through that wall. No, 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 no! We had to beg the racing centre in Newmarket to have us back after that. And it was not cheap to fix that wall either. Please, please, just, just get it back in the ring. This is all you, mate. I've got, I've got fucking nothing to do. No, no, please! Oh, gosh. Every time I'm terrified the wall's going to cave in. Like it did with Charles Crowley. Voodoo resetting the count. Oh, Simon Miller's turned the tables. Another forearm. Receives one for his troubles. Please don't come up here. Please, please don't come up oh, for the love of gosh. They're up here. For heaven's sake, not the windows. Sharp that was. Yeah, Martin. Martin telling them it's not false count anywhere. He needs to do more. He's got to assert himself and get them back in the ring now before we have a serious accident. No, 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 no! No, don't do it! I'm crying out loud to kill the man. Voodoo's calling Simon Miller to him, but you know what? I'm relieved that Simon Miller's got back in the ring. And I'm relieved that Voodoo's opting to, to follow Simon Miller and not vice versa, because we almost had a death on our hand. You know, I said at the start, I hope 
that that chant voodoo's gonna kill you doesn't bear out, but he almost just did. Voodoo pulling Simon up by the ears. Oh, but Simon Miller hot shutting him off the rope. Did you see the snap? And a chop lock to the back of the knee. There Get we go, that's position, smart. What are you doing over a here? man the size wait, of Voodoo. Wait, wait. Get back in position, bro. You want to take that? his wheel out. And an elbow right to that knee. And Simon Miller's turned the tables here. And once again punishing that knee, kicking the rope, which he'd wrapped through his knee around. Only a two count though. So Miller better focus and not give Voodoo an inch. Nice power. Got the big man off his feet with a scoop slam. Very impressive. Clearly Simon Miller works out and lifts heavy weights in the gym. And that was, uh, that paid off right there when he's able to slam a man the size of Voodoo. shoulders to the gut and now looks like he's gonna follow up with a snap and suplex he does but voodoo staying alive and he's in trouble Miller with a send Clothesline. And now, some of them are going to go back to his knee. Looks like he's trying to turn him for a Boston Crab. And he has. And I don't know. I mean, this typically would target the back. But I think Voodoo's knee might be in such a bad way. From uh, earlier on, when Miller started working on his knee by chopping Voodoo down. Simon Miller milked that referee count for all it was worth. You know what? Fair play. I don't agree with the tactic, but uh, he got as much as he could out of it. Took as much as he could out of Voodoo without being disqualified. Swinging with something and getting cut off for the forearm. Looks like Voodoo's regained control. Oh, but Simon Miller shutting him down with a spine buster. And the crowd here at the Southwood and Ferris Village Hall. Riling behind. Voodoo. Simon's locked in that Boston. Look how much quicker he got that Boston crab on that time. Compared to the first time. I think Voodoo's getting weaker and weaker. The longer this match goes on. But he broke out of it. Gosh, that must have really done a number on his knee. To be able to extend his legs like that, to break the Boston Crab. Voodoo! With somewhat of a urinagi, followed up with a leg drop. And Voodoo's back in control. Running boot! And Voodoo... I can't remember the last time I saw him feeding off the applause of the audience like this, a backbreaker. Simon Miller is not a small man. Crowd chanting a loud finishing. 
And it looks like Voodoo has the chokeslam in mind to do just that. Can he do it? Oh, we did it! That wasn't easy. Oh, but Simon Miller. Did he even mean to do that? I'm not sure if Simon Miller even knows what he's doing. But he saved the match for himself. Just, can Voodoo do another one? I think Voodoo's knackered. And Simon Miller got out of the way, look at that! Second win, Spear! Miller's got the cut from the leg, hooked! Simon Miller is knackered as well. I think that Spear was the, the last reserve he had. The last gas in the tank. He can barely stand. Does he have a little more? Yes, he does. He's got Voodoo up on his shoulder. But Voodoo slid out of it. A downward spiral. And Voodoo could be going for his... One only wonders what he could do. Is he going to tightrope walk into what? It's a swanton bomb! And this time he gets him. This time Simon Miller couldn't grab the rope or kick out. Well, fair play to Simon Miller. I mean, considering he took a choke slam and almost won with a spear. And folks, your winner of match number three tonight, Voodoo. And that was a hard-fought victory for Voodoo. Simon Miller made it a challenge to remember. And I'm happy to say Simon Miller isn't dead. And I'm sure you'll want to give a big round of applause for Simon Miller. I will. Despite the attitude, here, here, Simon. Our winner of this match in victory once again and on the way to getting his titles back, Voodoo! Well, is he on the way to getting his titles back? There's quite a few challenges in line. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. We'll see you tomorrow.